Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Jason, and you're watching Old Car Auto Guy. This vlog generally is about my business, used cars, having some fun, the different projects that we do, uh, but mostly we try and get inside the uh, everyday workings of a used car dealership. Today is going to be a little bit different. Well, why? Stay tuned. <laughs> So what's going on today is we are going to be heading down to St. Andrews, New Brunswick. And the simple reason is, is because there is a barber shop down there that specializes in this. And uh, I was down there once before, probably about a year ago, and I had a good experience and I never went back simply because it was expensive. But today I'm going to treat myself to a little beard pampering and uh, you guys are gonna come along for the ride. So I do have to stop and get some fuel before I head down there because right now we are sucking fumes and I really don't feel like playing distance to empty in bubbles. But before we go too far, we've gotta get our caffeine fixed. And there you have it guys, we're all filled up, ready to hit to St. Andrews. And yes, you noticed my ABS and traction light was on. Well, because I stole that fuse, remember, gotta have heat before ABS breaks. Well, good morning guys. It is Sunday and I am just on my way to church and I wanted to find some way to close out this video because there hasn't been a whole lot of activity, but in my last upload, we talked a little bit about selling that Mitsubishi Mirage with an online app and I had some questions on that video about, you know, is that app available to anybody and it's not. It is only available to registered uh, automotive dealers like myself so having said that the question after that came it would be interesting to see what that car went for well I'm about to tell you and the only reason why I would tell you at this point is simply because I'm not keeping the vehicle so my profit margin on that particular vehicle um, is neither here nor there so I put that up on the auction block and other dealers see what I have posted and that is an aid to help get me a trade-in value or a guaranteed trade-in value on that vehicle so on that particular one 
we got $5,655 was the top bid. Now, the person who bid that doesn't necessarily win the car, but if I take the car on trade and decide not to keep it, then I can hit a button that says deliver, and that would send the obligation to that top bidder. So on Friday, I did that. The car will be going away. We've decided not to keep it. And the simple fact is, the car did have a few blemishes on it, and as I'm speaking, I will post those up here for you to see. Um, there's one where the right rear quarter panel has a little dent in it, and there's a few door dings here and there. There's scratches on the roof. And the biggest problem that I see with this car simply is the color. Now, do I have anything against purple? No, I don't. But in the car business, you want to be selling vehicles that appeal to the masses. So, you know, having a purple car is going to narrow down how many people are going to be attracted to that particular vehicle. Same as yellow. Same as that lime green or that real snotty green color you see on some of these Kia Souls. Although a Kia Soul is a very, you know, good car, a good seller for us, you know, to get one in that color, and I think you'd be hard pressed to find, uh, you know, a bunch of people fighting over it, so to speak, over, say, a gray one or black one, red one, white one. Anyways, so that's what happened to that. Now, that vehicle, although, it, although I only let it sell, for 55 uh, 56 55 it booked for somewhere in like 72 and when I say booked I mean that's a wholesale that's what I would pay at an auction for that vehicle if it was in perfect condition uh, and this one wasn't 100% perfect I rated it as a 75 out of 100 because it did need a little bit of work so having said that that vehicle would probably sell on someone's lot for like 99.95 and you know they are going to get a fairly good deal on it because I sold it cheap but they're also going to have to do a little bit of work to it so I hope you enjoyed that little bit of an update on the uh, spinning my tires through that stop sign I hope you enjoyed that little bit of an update on that uh, barrage and on that trade rev app that I use as well as wholesale express and eblock those are the three that we use and it's a great selling tool if, it's, if we get a vehicle, same as that Mercedes-Benz, that we just don't want, uh, or we're, you know, kind of have reserve reservations about wanting to take it on trade, um, then we would use a situation like that. Plus, it helps us validate what the actual booking values are on some of these vehicles. So guys, remember the contest is still on for a thousand subscribers before January 31st. If you're a subscriber, you will qualify to be entered into the draw for $1,000 cash if we meet that deadline. Also, t-shirts and hoodies are still for sale on bonfire.com. I only have a couple left of my own, so if you're local and you want one and you need it before Christmas, let me know because I do still have a few. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all the thumbs up, all the comments, and sharing all my videos. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. Guys, I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next upload. Let's have some fun and go make this a Merry Christmas.